Last start, Stephen Strasburg talked about how he was having mechanical issues. What was the difference this time? Well, I think strike one's probably the biggest difference. Uh, got ahead of a lot of hitters tonight. Um, his curveball was effective. His changeup was effective. He went deep in the game. You know, he threw a lot of pitches, but but he was, he was in command. So I think that's the biggest difference. He didn't fall behind guys. And for him, that's important. It's important for everybody, but especially him. It seemed like he was kind of slowing things down out there, that he wasn't as quick. Was that uh, something that, that you were aware of or that had been a focus for him? Uh, I think the weather probably had the most impact on that. He's going to the rosin bag a lot. Uh, you know, he, it's hot out there and he's sweating and trying to get a grip for every pitch is, is probably the reason that he was slower tonight. But he went to the rosin bag a lot. And so I think that's probably the biggest factor. Um, but he was focused. He was throwing it where he wanted to throw it. Uh, like I said, he was in command of, of his pitches all night. You mentioned building the you mentioned building the pitch count up and, and going deep in the game. Was that particularly important tonight, especially on a hot night, to kind of push him a little a little bit? Yeah. Well, I mean, it, it, he's got a shutout going until his last inning, so you you, you want to take him as far as you can take him. Uh, it was a little limited last time out. He was in the 80s last time. So, uh, but you know, anytime somebody's got a shutout going like that, we've seen it with Zim this year. Uh, push him through the eight, trying to push him through the eighth and and preserve that. But uh, LeMahieu got a, a curveball and, and took care of that in the last inning, but I, I thought he pitched really well. What do you like best about the, the way the line's kind of come, to that, come together the last two days with everybody in there and healthy? It's just, uh, you know, we've got a lot of opportunities in the last couple of days. A lot of guys out there. Um, and that's that's what you ask for. So. We've we've had a lot of opportunity with guys in scoring position, and guys have come through. Jason started it early, and uh, Zim hit the sack fly, and that that put us ahead early. Um, that helps your pitching staff, and you, you get into the flow of the game uh, if you can capitalize on those opportunities early, and we did tonight. Did you see anything um, different from from Worth tonight, or anything that that, that you liked at him specifically? He he. Uh, He's been working hard in the cage with Rick. He, he stood up a little bit tonight, uh, a little bit taller at the plate. Um, they, were, they worked on that early today. And uh, so he, he said he saw the ball a little bit better tonight, which is, which is good. And got that curve ball in the first inning and, and hit it hard past the third baseman. So that's a, that's a really good sign for him. When he stands up, is that simply allow him to see better than anything else that yeah, helps him with. Yeah, he's a big guy, so if he gets too crouched, he tends to get long with his stride. And uh, but So he just made that, it's a minor adjustment, but he just stood a little taller at the plate, gets him on top of the baseball a little bit more. He was comfortable with that tonight. Um, everything okay with the road? You just want to get him a Yeah, just there. want to just get him out of there. He played both games of the doubleheader. Um, so any time we get a chance to get him out of there, uh, we're going to take that opportunity. It was an opportunity for Zim to get to first base again, get some more innings over there. So, um, but he's fine. It looked like Steven was going to his finger a little bit, uh, both on the mound and after he came out. Is everything all right? Yeah, just uh, he's got a little bit of a uh, irritation there from throwing curveballs, and you know, again, it's sweating and. You know, it's it, that's part of the deal when it gets hot and humid. He's just got a little bit of an irritation on his thumb, but he should be fine. What did you think of his uh, trip around the bases there in the fourth? It was it was good. The first part of it was good. Um, the other parts, I don't know. But uh, <laughs> but uh, you know, he he ended up scoring, so that's all that matters. Um, just at the end there, when he made the subs, uh, any reason for Franz and over Espin- over a second? No, uh, no. Um, no reason at all. I'm look, potentially looking at Danny tomorrow. So um, Danny's been working hard and uh, took a lot of extra work today, a lot of extra grounders, a lot of extra hitting. And uh, so no reason at all just to get Franny in there, get him an A-B. Two games back at third for Ryan. He's had a chance about four or five plays. Yeah. What have you thought so far? From there? Oh, good. Uh, he's right on the money with everything. Uh, he. 
he, it's it's hard. It's very hard to teach the play that he made. Um, being able to give with the ball, that's a sense of right off the bat, pace of ball, hop. Uh, you know, that just comes from experience. So he really gave with that ball in the hole, uh, gave himself some time to get there and, and uh, turned around and made a strong throw over to first. So everything was great.